Hey guys, we're live here at the uh, Vegan Black Metal Chef Kitchen. Um, I'm with the Vegan Black Metal Chef right here, Brian. And we don't have much time. We're on kind of like a little time crunch, but we're going to cook some food up. Why not live stream it with you guys and you guys watch what we're doing. We're making kind of a healthy, we're not kind of, we're making a healthier version of some kind of like stir fry ish, just a bunch of veggies with some brown rice. And uh, we're not There's using a reason oil. For this. We'll get back to you on that later, why that is. Some of you might know, but uh, for those of you who don't, I'll talk about it later. Anyway, what we have right now is we have a base going over here. We got some tomato paste, um, some spices. We're not using any salt, anything like that, no oils. So we're going to kind of saute these veggies in some, some of that liquid. So we're not going to use oil or anything like that. Um, maybe, maybe we could turn that down just a little so I could read some of the questions. Sure. And maybe turn my brightness up. There we go. Boom. There we go. So how's everyone doing today? I'm doing great. Hanging out with my friend Brian here. Uh, we just got some nice produce. I got a nice cucumber here. So where did we just go shopping at? Why do you guys ask you with your mouth full? A lot of you guys have been asking me to do my budget videos with the vegan at different stores at the 99 cent store. So that's where we just were. We did a whole video there. That'll be up coming sometime in the future. Right now, back to what we're making. So I cut up some red onion, some red bell pepper. We have some jalapeno. And I have these little these little lines that we're going to use. We have some spinach. Some spinach. Um, we also have some green onions, some scallions. So, yes, hell Satan. So, Brian... Okay, so one thing me and Brian have in common, other than our crazy unique theme for promoting veganism, is we both are cookbook authors. So this is Brian's book, The Satanic Spellbook, filled with wonderful, delicious recipes. And look at this. It's so... Look at that. Don't screenshot this, but you know what I'm saying. Like, these are filled with pictures, and you can, you can even go online to find out how he makes it. Yeah, there's a little QR code here that you can scan. You can scan that one right there. I don't care. Boom. Just how many bam. cookbooks have those? Not many. Not many at all. Anyway, that's Brian's Spellbook. I'm sure you can go over to veganblackmetalchef.com to get yeah. one of those. Or Amazon. And, uh, yeah, and I have a cookbook, too. For those of you that don't know, some of you don't know that I have a cookbook. I have a cookbook. And your cookbook is awesome, by the way, as well. Thank like, you. Uh, thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, the mozzarella sticks. Yes. Absolutely fantastic. Awesome. So what we're doing right now is we got some we got some spinach over here, and we're just gonna wilt that down. We're gonna take some of this broth over here that we made. So we made some. We just put some tomato paste, a can of tomato paste in here, uh, in some water. Uh, we got some onion powder. We got some Italian seasoning. We got some pepper. We're gonna throw some chili powder in here. Why don't I just take this right off here and put it somewhere? Else. I'll just kind of like bring it over here so you can sure. see what we're doing. Got some chili powder. Let me turn that over. There we go. There we go. How's it going, everyone? Are those Klingon weapons? Uh, these are from the Abyss. Where, why don't you tell where they're they from? Are, they are from the finest artisans in hell. So, no, and we they, have... they, they, they are not Klingon weapons and have no Star Trek affiliation. Although I do like Star Trek. Uh, they're very similar, some of them, I guess. They're actually um, knockoffs of a more famous like uh, knife. Well, one I know, I know at least at least that one. I found out later. I had no idea of this when I got it. Uh, that it is a knockoff of a some famous knife designer called Kit Ray. Kit Ray. And, uh, By the way, these are not fake. This is heavy and sharp. But if you guys have ever seen the vegan black metal chef, he's in full costume. He, this isn't what he normally dresses as, but this is just regular Brian today. This is my, this is my mortal form. <laughs> and we're going to get that sauteing. The sauce is starting to bubble up. Let's just toss all these vegetables. Yeah, away. let's do that. That's what I would do. Let's just get it in there. 
Oh, I was gonna say put the onions in this and kind of saute them, but nah, maybe we'll, we'll do that. Maybe we'll do this thing. This gets really hot. Where's my cucumber? Where's my cucumber? Where's cucumber. my cucumber? It, oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Right, here we go. I wish it was a pickle, but it's a cucumber. This will be all good. What's everyone going on? What, what's what's Bridget, happening on the in the comment world? Bridget says, so this is a kitchen torture chamber, LOL. <laughs> Some people pay good money for that. <laughs> and it doesn't come with food. Are they battle ready or kitchen ready blades? Um, uh, I think a little bit of both. Yeah, a little bit of both. Because yeah, I've uh, seen Brian... Um, cut myself on stage. He's also cut some veggies <laughs> with it. <laughs> yep. You get some cilantro in here. That's we have a whole bunch of healthy. A whole bunch of healthy. A whole bunch of healthy. What else do we have? Are you back home? I'm not. I'm still in California. We are deep underground in California somewhere. We are. We are in the the darkest the of abyssal chambers of Echo Park. If you're vegan curious, watch either my channel or Brian's channel, among the many other ones out there, and go vegan. Oh, did we put cumin in there? Um, uh, I don't think we did. I don't remember. And we didn't put... No, yes, there's definitely cumin. Oh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah. What about paprika? There's not. And you got chipotle. Actually, no. Yeah, I think a little more cumin. Chipotle and paprika. Right now, we're kind of cooking a bunch of healthy veggies. We're not using any salt or oil. We got some brown rice cooking, and we're on a time crunch because we have to be somewhere pretty soon. Yeah. So. We might modify this meal slightly. And I'm eating a cucumber. To be that and fruit. <laughs> yeah, so like, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of excited to try like this weird mashup of a uh, Health food. Uh, healthy things. Uh, I mean, lots of vegan things are pretty healthy. Uh, health to me is kind of a continuum. Like, it's not like this is healthy, this isn't a healthy. To me, it's kind of like healthy is a continuum that starts with a raw fruit or vegetable on one end, and on the other end is a grain of sugar. And kind of everything in between is either more healthy than this and less healthy than that. So it's not really a yes or no, is this healthy, is this not healthy. It's kind of a, it's kind of a, a continuum of health. And, uh, but we're definitely on towards the raw fruit or vegetable end of the, uh, the health continuum uh, on, on this. Basically, we, we have no processed foods in, in this meal right here. It's all whole food. Tomato taste, I guess, was... Well, not really. A little bit. Yeah, under what a process. Mary uh, Karen, thank you so much. I didn't expect that, but thank you. Let's see, May 2009 to May 2018, since your channel was created and still, so you've been watching us since we first started our channel. Wow, that's impressive. So you know how, how far we've come with our videos. Um, does anybody have any questions while we're here? I got Brian here with us from the Vegan Black Metal Chef. We're cooking some food. I'm eating a cucumber. Talking to you guys. About to go see uh, Lords of Salem and Hocus Pocus with some kind of. Uh, I was just oh, showing oh, my, oh, my oh, shirt, oh. Lords of Salem. Oh yeah, I'm actually wearing um, the shirt right now. Uh, with some kind of, uh, either some some people from the the movies are going to be there and to give us commentary and other things, so should be a fun time. But we have to be in Hollywood. Uh, right around seven, so that's why we're in kind of a time crunch. And what time is it now? Uh, I don't have a, the the time up on. Can somebody tell me what time it is, Pacific Standard Time? Um, Byron, thank you. Meatless meatloaf, sounds good. K 
and I put a link to Brian's channel. I can't right now, but I will later. If you Google anything like vegan black metal chef, you will find it. Like any combination of those words. He um he he uh, does his videos very unique style. He sings a death metal song, and tells you how to cook. Black metal. Really. Black metal, not death yeah. metal. <laughs> Um, do you mind if I just throw this couscous in that broth right there? Do you think it'll cook in time? Yeah, go for yeah. it. Go for yeah, it. So this couscous only has one ingredient, that's whole wheat flour. Um, snap vegan, reversed heart disease with a whole plant-based diet, no oil. So that's, that's what I'm eating right now. Uh, I don't have a heart disease or anything, but I congratulate you. That is amazing. Gonna see what happens. <laughs> Where the good question? I'm hanging out with all the the vegan YouTubers from the the, the vegan YouTube house. I uh, I'm I split up with them today to go hang out with Brian. Right now, I believe they're down at Venice Beach. I kind of jumped out of the car halfway when I realized Brian was right down the road, and then Brian came and picked me up. So, if you want to see more of that, watch my Instagram story. And definitely start watching the uh, the YouTube house. Start with Brian Turner's video first, and you'll see three videos in the in the list. Each one of us is doing a video a different day. All I can say is I filmed a really fun video last night with one of them. A cooking video, well, kind of, maybe it was raw. Uh, Brian, do you have any new music in the works? So I have any new music in the works. Uh, I've got, I just put all my music up on Spotify. So uh, you can look up my regular music project called Forever Dawn uh, on Spotify or YouTube. It's, a, it's, a, it's up on all the things. Um, all the vegan black metal chef stuff is up there uh, without the lyrics. So if you just want to hear the instrumental stuff, uh, it's on Spotify, it's on YouTube music, um, uh, Amazon, all the, all the different things. Uh, I have, so actually, I just made some new sort of like ambient hiking music that uh, I just kind of play in headphones in the background, either while hiking or while trying to fall asleep on the plane. And you can find there's four tracks. They're all half an hour long. Uh, I mean, but it's very repetitive and very just kind of droney. But uh, if you look up background radiation, like background radiation, you'll find that. That sounds pretty cool. I'd like to be able to fall asleep on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, it's it's I've fallen asleep on many a plane too. Like I figured I'd just put it out there. Cool. All right, this is uh, um, approaching done. Yes, when my video goes up, I will have a link to each one of them in the description, so you'll be able to see them. And again, Brian is the vegan black metal chef. You can just Google him, and he'll he's the only one that will come up. Um, there's naturally Stephanie, there's uh, raw alignment, there's Addison Page, there's Eden Jax, that's E D Y N Jax. Um, who else? Brian Turner, myself, and is that it? I feel like I'm missing somebody. Okay. Turn that off. I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this to try to soften up that couscous. I thought it would cook a little faster. Oh, Chelsea lifts. I forgot. Chelsea lifts. Sorry. So you, he's got the couscous going over here. Who's the tiny girl? The tiniest girl is raw alignment. That's Elise. Well, I already said Craig. Didn't I know I Craig? And the other guy is Addison Page. Brian, do you know Depressive Silence? Some of the best... Atmospheric Dungeon Synth. Check it out. I have not. I, I will definitely check that out. Okay. Uh, what's, what's it called? Depressive Silence. Okay. Cool. I will absolutely check that out. All right. What are we looking for? I'm thinking. Lid. Here, let me put the... I need, I need to do something real quick. So I'm going right. to... Where would we doing? Oh, wrong direction. Let's uh, turn this over this way because we're in a studio. You're not supposed to see the other side. Okay. So we're going to put this back over here. And I'm just going to go cut up some scallion. Sure. 
with your axe. Just kidding. Go for it. I dropped it in the abyss. Okay, so I'll just grab a couple of these. Uh, should we wash them off? They're pretty, they might be pretty, I can wash them off. Right we're going to go, we're just going to keep them like this. I need our B12. Screw it. We need our B12 right there. Okay, we'll cut the end off and bam. This is a very green dish that we're making. Which, greens are good. Greens are good. They heal the endothelial cells in your veins, your arteries, I mean. Okay, so let's just throw this under. All right. And, oh, did we do the, the lines? Did we? No. No, no, we didn't. All right, let's so squeeze a couple of these. Squeeze some of the on there. So we get these little mini limes. We're just going to squeeze those. Key limes. Go Florida. Oh, I, I Florida Keys. Usually limes don't have seeds in them. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Key limes. Key. Shut hands. Hmm. Don't worry, guys. We're still here. I'm going to I'm not used to key over. limes. I'm used to regular limes where they don't have seeds. I wasn't really cutting with the axe, but um, yeah, I think we're pretty good. Oh, do we want to use a little bit of this greens? Some in there? lettuce. We can we can wrap it in the lettuce. I mean, if you want it's greens. Green. How is the how's the rice? It's not nearly done. Oh. <laughs> we're running out of time, and so we're just going to. So uh, we might not be able to eat that with. But what do we have here? We have a nice peach. Oh, you know what? It's probably not ripe yet. Oh no, pears. Pears. Peach. It's a pear. Let's give these a try. 15 minutes left. It's good. A little pear. Mm. It's being blown out by the light, but this is an amazing... Who started the vegan YouTube house concept? Brian Turner. Ryan Turner is a vegan fitness guy, and uh, he started the house four, year, four years ago. Um, he wasn't vegan then, so it started out as a, just a fitness place. Now it's all vegan, so he turned it into a vegan uh, YouTube house. We went to the gym earlier today. He's on my Instagram story. I guess we just eat it like that. We'll use the couscous, and you have a big pot of rice for when you get home. Mm -hmm. That is what's gonna happen. All right, I'm gonna get some um, things. Eat this. I really like the the background here in Brian's kitchen. Hi, Crystal from San Antonio. Fuck. <laughs> Oops. Oh, yeah, we got to keep this. Oh, oh, my bad. So. I didn't say anything. That's all right. <laughs> Good question. Would you ever leave New York and move somewhere else? Absolutely. In fact, well, I grew up. I was born in Syracuse, New York. I grew up there. And then I moved to Florida. I lived in Sarasota, Florida. And actually, Brian lived in Florida. He lived in Orlando for quite some time before yeah, he moved out. So he lived his there all his, all his life, and he moved here to California, Los Angeles, two years ago. I lived in Sarasota for a couple of years, and then I lived in St. Pete for like a few months, and then I moved back home, and then I went back down to Florida, and I lived in Gainesville. I went to the University of Florida, which Brian was going to University of Florida at <laughs> the same time I was, but we didn't know each other. <laughs> That's pretty um, crazy. I think that's when you first went vegan. Yeah, yeah. I had already crazy. been vegan for about six years at that point. And Gainesville, even back then, was a crazy, uniquely <clears throat> vegan city, wasn't it? There wasn't any, like, all vegan places, but... It had a lot of vegan things. Yeah. Like, yeah. a lot of vegan things. And I heard, I haven't been there since almost 18 years, but I heard that they have a lot more vegan restaurants. Yeah, there. oh, yeah. I mean, if it was that vegan friendly back then, 
then I can only imagine what it is now. So then after that, after Gainesville, I moved back home, and then back, to, and then I lived in New York City for about two and a half years. I finished my degree in New York City, and then I moved to Virginia, the, the D.C. area. I was living in Arlington, working in D.C. and surrounding areas. And then I came home and I lived in Rochester, New York. Now I'm back in Syracuse, New York. And I come out, I, I want to move into L.A., but I've been, I've been coming out here several times a year and just like meeting with friends, you know, doing a lot of work, doing some collabs, stuff like that. So I really love it out here, but I own a house in, in Syracuse, New York, and it's, you know, my family is there. I, you know, I like it there. I don't mind it. It's, uh, it's not fast-paced like it is here, and, and that's one of the things I like about it. But uh, Brian, yeah, Brian grew up in Orlando, and I was just well, asking actually, him. Well, yeah, I grew up in Tampa, and then... We went to Gainesville uh, to go to school at University of Florida, then moved to Orlando, which I lived there for like 12 years uh, before I moved out here about two years ago. Hi from Houston. Chris, did you hear about the zombie alert, the city Lake Worth, uh, Florida put out last week? No, I didn't. That's interesting. Hi, Chris. Love your channel. Thanks, Matt. Quite the journey. Hello from Orlando. There we Orlando, go. Orlando, yes. <laughs> Veggie Girl Sarah in Orlando. Orlando is awesome, by the way. For all of you that don't know, Orlando is like the most awesome place for all the reasons that no one knows about or cares about. Uh, it's not awesome because of Disney Universal. Those are those are cool additions, but it, it it's got absolutely amazing, beautiful lakes and parks, tons of vegan stuff, and uh, just a just a really cool town. Hello from Luxembourg. So there was some big zombie thing down there I got, we got to google and check it out zombie apocalypse and people freaked out all the power went out and stuff sounds cool also oh, oh matthew was also in orlando uh let's see that is where the raw boy is from in san antonio so i just saw the raw, raw he ate dinner with us uh two nights ago or maybe the was, raw boy yeah what have i been doing we went to real food daily he was at the other end of the table. I didn't really get to talk to him. Okay, because Kusa Soft, let's do this. Hello, Chris. Love you and love watching. Thank you. Fort Lauderdale. Seattle. I love Seattle. I was only there for a few hours, though. I want to go back. Seattle is great. I love uh, Seattle as well. So we're going to eat our food now. Good. Eat it right. In front if you of just guys. joined us, we've we've been making food, so now we're gonna put it together. It, you know what? It looks amazing, and I was just gonna say, let me take a picture of that. But I, I got my camera right here. I'll get my other camera, and I'll take a picture of this food. Hold on one second. Mmm, yum. Bam. Look yes, at that. Sir. It's hanging out the side. Look, look at that, guys. This is what. We came up with, with just a bunch of ingredients from the 99 cent store and very healthy, all whole foods. Well, the couscous is, is very mildly processed, but other than that. About as processed as the tomato paste, probably. Yeah, not, not really much at all. Let's get, a, let's get a picture of this. Let's get on picture mode. You guys want to watch me? Actually, I don't have the right lens on or anything, but who cares? It's... it's It'll work for now while we're going live. Yummy. Bam. So now we got to try it. We're saying yummy, but we don't know. Yeah, we don't, we don't, we, know. We don't know. It might be total crap. And, and we'll try to be as honest as possible because I hate that. Like when people go on YouTube, oh, mm, that was the best thing I've ever had in my yeah. life. Mm, if it doesn't mm. taste good, we'll tell you. We'll tell you. Um, I don't know if I'm going to the Rochester Veg Fest because I think it's the same time as Expo East, and I always go to that. It's not bad. I see what you mean about the salt thing. Um, it's way too spicy for me. I think, <laughs> I think it's those uh, jalapenos. It scared me. I can't do heat. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh. That, that, that's why I was like, we're not going to put these in. And you're like, yeah, we are. We're going to put Oh, these I thought in. I didn't. You didn't say like, hey, I do not like spiciness. <laughs> but that, that's all right. We're going to eat it because it's good. And I'm probably going to be crying in a minute. 
<laughs> My bad. <laughs> I didn't. I don't get subtle hints. Like, uh, like I'm no... not. A, I'm not a subtle guy. Like, uh, if you gotta be. If you want to say something to me? Just say it. Say it. I will not get. Oh, like we have a hundred people on right now. Awesome guys. We're eating our. No wonder he's a black metal chef from the abyss of hell. I mean, I feel like I'm gonna be breathing fire. Vampires don't cry. Boys don't cry. Which, if you're wondering, I wasn't being sexist. I was quoting a Cure song. A little bit sexist. Robert, <laughs> Robert Smith said it back in the 70s. <laughs> Boys don't <cry. laughs> Vampires don't sparkle. Do you see any sparkles here? That's why I hate glitter. I hate getting cards with glitter on it. And I hate buying cards for somebody's birthday that has glitter on it. They sparkle and then they get all over you. Why do you why were you like excited about the chili powder then if you don't like spice? I don't mind chili powder. I don't oh. I don't put too much in, but jalapenos <laughs> are crazy. Frank's red hot is about as hot as I go. Mmm. Okay. I really like it. I like the flavor. It's a little bit hot, but... You wonder why this is so spicy? Why? Because it has no oil in it. And oil dilutes spiciness. And so... Also because you put three jalapenos in. Well, no, I mean, but ordinarily that would not be very spicy. Like in a dish with a, a significant amount more oil, uh, that really wouldn't be very spicy. Now we're doing the mukbang. But this is... Uh, this is pretty spicy. Jared Leto. He's over there. I can tell. I can tell how healthy this is. Um, I'm eating it because it, it's not bad, but it's not like. No, is it's it, not the best. We're not gonna lie. It's not the best. Yeah, I wouldn't eat this on like uh, on the regular for sure. I'm also not gonna lie. I don't like this diet that I'm on. I only got two more months to go. There's a reason, yeah, why we're why we're eating stuff like this, uh, kind of out of our normal range of things. And uh, it's uh, for, for a little diet. Yeah. A little diet. Whew. You want a banana? Sure. Oh, wait. I still got my, uh, my, my pear. I can grab another banana. Cooking portion, you, you... Okay, yeah. We just basically took a bunch of produce that we had. Uh, we made a bunch of food without using any salt, oil, um... All whole foods with a little bit of whole wheat couscous. You look like a young Steve Perry. Are you talking about Steve Perry from Journey? You know what? You, like, I've never heard that in my life. You kind of do. For, like the last month, three people have said it to me. Can you sing like Three them? people. Fuck no, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> God, you're an amazing singer. Hello from Portugal. What time is it? It's got to be pretty late. Speaking of time, we got to get out of here. What time? It's, it? it's almost seven. Oh, yeah, we got to go. So I hope you guys like this video from the Vegan Black Metal Chef Kitchen. Check it out. I'll put links below if you don't see them right away. It's because... I'm on the go. I'm traveling. When I get back to a home base, I will do all that. But go check out Brian at the Vegan Black Metal Chef. Follow him. Check out his videos. He's got a cookbook. And, uh, whoo, my breath is freaking hot. All it's right, guys. Spicy. Watch out for zombies. Watch out for any black metal demons. And we'll see you in the next video.